Now, the cons. As great as this product is, there are some cons that I personally didn't really like. <laughs> Number one, when you take the blade apart, it is not the same setup as the GTX on cordless. Maybe due to the motor, whatever it is, but it's like one of those weird ones that has the prongs. And once again, once I'll take it out, take it apart, I'll show you. But so adjusting it was a little bit of a hassle. It was different. It's not the little screws that you unscrew. And you actually kind of have to do a Frankenstein when you want to put the deep tooth on this bad boy. So you take the top part from the dupe tooth, but the second part you have to take from this clipper because other than that, you won't be able to put it together. So that's one thing, which is no big deal, but I was kind of like, ah, come on, why can't we make it all the same all across the board? But whatever. Next thing, what I really, really kind of didn't like or found it to be upsetting is I paid 280 for these clippers. And honestly, I did it because I guess I wanted to give a review, let people know how this is. But after having it, I, it is a pretty steep price to pay for a clipper. So what we're talking about, a lot of barbers would want to get their hands on it, but not necessarily everybody can. And especially, you know, the young barbers that are coming up you know, in schools and are learning. 280 is pretty steep for a trimmer. I wish it was like maybe around 150. I mean, honestly, it's great, but it don't sing songs, but it does the job. So my feelings are mixed, because since I paid for it, it means I thought it was worth it, <laughs> and I do like it. But at the same time, taking into account situations other people are in, uh, and is it really worth $280? I do not think so. You can do the same job with other clippers and they'll do just as a great job, if not better. So 280, the price is way too steep. I did look on Amazon, it's going down. I really hope it's gonna go down quite a bit because once it goes down lower, I truly believe then the price, once the price is right, this will be an amazing product. But the cons that offset it quite a bit, the blade, gotta do something about that, and the price. So if you're balling out of control and you wanna pay 200 bucks, knock yourself out. But if you don't got that much money and you're asking yourself, should I really buy it? Is it really that worth it? My advice to you, if you're tight on money, that's not that much, it's not really worth it. Just get yourself the GTXs with the cord. Get yourself some detailers that will get you by just fine. Wait a couple of years, once you build your clientele up, once your pockets are steep, once you got cash flowing out, and you want to splurge, spoil yourself, then go ahead, get a pair, knock yourself out. But until then, hold off a little. And uh, yeah, that's my review for Andy's. Good clipper, nothing against it, love it. But those are the things that kind of created a little bit of conflict within me and most of my colleagues. Because when they saw me open the clippers, they saw it, most of them said exactly that. 280 is a little too steep, even 240. 150, it's a little easier to get behind it. So hopefully Andy's will make some changes and I really hope to see more of these in other barbers' hands. And uh, that's Fadeologist and my two cents.